Welcome back to Let's Play Indigo Prophecy. I'm Heike, and so we we're gonna go with the Oracle here and to the unknown place that. She... Yeah, I kind of lost track. He's dead, my lords. Good, very good. Now you must find the Indigo Child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. The visions are becoming clearer and clearer. I've nearly got the position localized. Move quickly. Time is short. The child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. All right, we finished that. <laughs> Miss Nap. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait. Though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Three means idle activity. I think he's dreaming. I think I'm breathing too. Oh yeah, this is confusing. Well, now I'm playing as myself as a kid back in the army stuff. Um, army place, I don't know. Oh, look, there's a tank <laughs> bed and stuff. Alright, let's wake up our brother here. Wake up, Marcus, it's time. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. Okay, as to why we're going to where we're going, I don't know. We're on an adventure. A wild adventure to... <laughs> to uncover the world. Oh, I remember this. Yes. You did have this. I remember this. This is one hell of a game. It's another sneaker thing. I don't move or I'll shoot. <laughs> don't shoot, sir. We're just kids. We're the cane boys. We're the cane. What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately. Why do I even live here? All right. You're crazy, Lucas. We're lucky that he let us go. But if he catches us again, they're gonna beat our butts. You do what you want, Marcus. I'm going back. Oh, come on, Marcus. I know you want to come. Right? <laughs> See? You're coming. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you kind of remember this, don't you? We're supposed to... long days. Uh, I'm waiting for you to look. Hello. Uh, okay, finally. Finally you look. Okay, let's get out of here. Did that. Okay, let's hide down this jar. This dude is watching, so. You kind of have to be very careful about this. One, one bad boom, you have to start all over. Assault, quick, let's hide! Er, uh, let's, let's hide, yeah. Wow, 
that one. It seems like he's not noticing it. He's not noticing Lucas going crazy. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of creepy. What can do? Stop fooling around, Lucas. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. He's coming back, isn't he? I knew it. Supposed to go somewhere. Okay, so here I am. I'm. I believe I'm the flashing green circle thing. And yeah, I have to follow the yellow line to where we have to go and stuff. Okay, Marcus, can you stop acting like a retard? Sorry for all. Okay, great. Yeah, I am. I can confirm this. Oh shit, gotta be careful about that dude over there. Got to be very careful about that dude. Okay, I can't go any further because I guess there's an invisible wall. You can't go any further. That soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him. Oh wow, I'm actually doing pretty well. Considering how much I screwed up and stuff. Alright, let's get back here and see if this works. Let's see if this works. I don't have to answer to you, officer. I can do whatever I want when I wake up in the middle of the night and do stuff. Yeah, it's not it's not your business. Don't worry. I get it now. Don't move or I'll shoot! How what the hell are you doing out here? Erg. You know how many times... Ugh. You're annoying me. I am annoying myself. What the hell am I supposed to do? Go back? I'll go back. Oh, hey. Hi there. Okay, great. I, I figured what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to go back and you do remember that, right? Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here in this stuff? If the spotlight didn't touch me. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm screwing up so badly here. It's very simple, really. You've just got to distract the guards with the scrap metal thing and then sneak past them somehow. It's very simple if you think about it like that. So, it shouldn't be that crazy hard. Don't move or I'll shoot! All right. What the I hell are you doing out that? here? Didn't really look around the corner. You should always look around the corner before they... Before you... I don't know, encounter them at least. Let's do this, man. Gotta stay positive. I'll get past this, even if this takes me the whole video. <laughs> oh, well, I do have a lot of time on my hands. It's just like around past noon. Okay, okay, do not move. I've learned my lesson. What the hell are you doing now? Stay positive, stay positive, stay positive. I know I can do this. It's just a subtle distraction and an extraction. What was that saying that rhymed? I forgot. It was distraction of the obstruction. Distraction is the obstruction of construction. Distraction is the obstruction of construction. <laughs> I like how their rifles are 
seem to, I mean, look like they're, I don't know. Oh great, that's that's where I was supposed to go, hey. Okay. Right. I'm moving blindly, so let's just make this happen. Yay. We're done. So it seems like I'm up with Marcus here and where are we on the map? Okay, great. We're about to turn to the left. That dude there is... Now what? The only way to get to the hangar without being seen is to climb up a telephone pole and hang off of a cable. Impossible. That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, I'm going to try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you going to get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. <laughs> flying saucers, eh? Okay. You'll try to walk the other way, eh? Okay. I kind of remember what happens around here. Uh, you just come here and you see that pile of things right there? Okay, never mind. That pile of things is not... I wanted to do something. It's all up to you, Lucas. It's all up to me. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. That was close. Um, so here you kind of have to check what's going on and see when the cable actually turns white from the light. So if you don't, oh, right, so. Great, I can do that. Uh, so let's look at the map here. Oh, okay, so all we gotta do is go up and left. That proved to be great. Uh, ah, this place is highly protected. Alright. That's gonna be a tricky thing. Alright, so. Just a little closer and I should be able to do it. Great, great, great. Okay, great. There it is. And we're through. Man, okay. Well, I believe I did a pretty decent job. Didn't die too much, or I didn't start over too much, I guess. Yeah, even the little boy can open that door. You guys should check your security stuff. Man, oh man, is it terrible. Kick an infiltrate and, you know, get your secrets. He's the youngest spy out there. <laughs> now, as for what you see here, will be... Something spectacular. So spectacular. 
you're left with an open jaw. When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. So now we know that Tiffany has died. A sad incoming, really. But it was to be expected, really, after that big fall. Okay. No, don't go there. Don't go there yet. All right, now we can go and see Tiffany. That's a nice portrait of her. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. Trusting. You didn't come here to arrest me. You know that I'm not the one responsible for all of those murders. Oh, yeah? And what makes you say that? I hear your thoughts. I know that this case has disturbed you enough to make you listen to what I okay. have to say. It's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Crazy. The oracle. The oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent seems to fit with what I already know. Hmm. <laughs> Roots. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Uh, help, I suppose. Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Because if we don't do something quickly, the cold will cover the entire planet and there won't be a tomorrow. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's going to believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. <laughs> you're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. What am I supposed to do? If he's lying, I'm aiding a murderer and I'll go to prison. But if he's telling the truth, I have to help him. So, either you're crazy or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. His hand. It's as cold as ice. It's as cold as ice. Cold. I'm not referencing anything here. <laughs> oh, so finally one of these screens. I suppose we can call it a video. Uh, yeah. So it seems that it's been hinted that Lucas had died. Or I'm supposing Carla was hinting this. Because, you know, if you don't have a breath that is warm, 
you have a cold breath, and I can't really understand you. Really. I don't think anyone has a cold breath. Not even cold-blooded lizards. Well, I, I don't really know. I haven't seen, you know, them breathing in cold air and smoke comes out of their mouth or something like that. No, no, no not like that. But, but. Uh, yeah. It seems that Lucas Kane has sided with Carla Valenti. That alone. Carla Valenti has not been contacting anyone else. She's just acting as a rogue agent for now. And, well, yeah, they're both together, right? It's interesting, really. So I suppose... Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense where I should go from now. Since we uh, kind of played with Carla, and then we were talking to Lucas. So, you'd probably be thinking, maybe Tyler? Because we haven't even played with him yet as much. So, yeah. Perhaps we should play with Tyler next time on Let's Play Nico Prophecy. So, see you then!